Okay, so pure vision, uh, pure uh, perception, and pure conception. Positive vision, positive perception, positive conception. Okay, I think this is the best medicine for our mind. This is the best medicine for our mind. It's an allopathic medicine. <laughs> it's an allopathic, right? We have to against the, the impure part or the dark part. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's why yeah, the, we are talking about Nejang. So Nejang will give us that vision, okay? When I say the vision is like we are entering in the pure dimensions and then we see everything is perfect. Our self is perfect, others are perfect, and our environment is perfect. Our living space is perfect. That's why it's called the pure dimension. Like paradises, you know, pure dimensions. And the Tibetan spiritual tradition says in this planet, we have 24 pure lands. You know, some of them, they are in Asia, in, you know, in Europe, in America, South America, Africa, whatever. Okay? So I think Manla is one of these pure lands. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Uh -huh. <coughs> so that's why, so Meja, you have to remember, it's a yoga exercise and holding, breathing and so on, but there's something more than that. That's very important to remember. Okay? And it is coming from this tantra, it's called the Kala Chakra Tantra, the tantra of time, the will of the time. It's a very, very uh, special tantra. You know, there are many tantric teachings. For me, the Kala Chakra is one of the most fascinating tantra, because that talks about the human body, and uh, how the human body is connected with, uh, uh, how do you say, external world, like our planet, and then from there, how our human body is connected to the other planets, mm -hmm. and the cosmos, the galaxy, and this and that. It's called, the, uh, the, this tantra says, uh, whatever is outside, everything perfectly inside. You see, like our, uh, how do you say, the existence is like a parallel existence, like infinite, uh, infinite universe outside, you know, what is exist, and that infinite universe is already inside us, okay? So many spiritual paths, they try to guide that inner journey, but sometimes we can't make it. So that's why Kala Chakra says, the more you understand yourself, and the more you can understand the outer world. Now, the more you understand the inner world, that helps you to understand better the outer world. And same way, the more you understand the outer world, that help you to understand inner world, okay? So that's why this Kala Chakra Tantra talks about uh, uh, time, astrology, and also astronomy. So maybe, I don't know, in ancient India, one of the first, uh, uh, how do you say, group, they start to talk about astronomy, you know? About sun, about moon, about the distance and energies, other planets, and you know, all, all these things, Kala Chakra. But something recently I'm very interested because the Kala Chakra is all about time. And time is a very big subject for physics, right? Scientists, they want to know what time is and what space is and this and that. And now they are saying, we exist because of time. If the time goes so fast, so speedy, we are not exist. We become only energy, right? We cannot exist like this. So somehow, thanks for time and we are exist. And the Kala Chakra is using exactly that subject about time and through the time to explain us what is our existence, illusory existence or magic existence, something like that. So that's why Kala Chakra, I think it's a very kind of very like a scientific too. You know, it's a very, very old science, but it's a really amazing science, right? Today, many physics say, because of time we are exist. And Kala Chakra says exactly the same thing. Because of the time we are exist, and Kala Chakra says uh, we are, co how do you say, parallel, parallel universe, you know, inner universe and outer universe, okay? So we have to reach these things through the yoga and meditation and so on. And Nejang is one of the best paths for that. So then one day if you understand what time is, then you stop aging, right? <laughs> 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 and then, <clears throat> what I want to say about the Yuta, the father of Tibetan medicine, 
uh, many years ago when I read the Yuto's biography, uh, Yuto, he said uh, he, he could play with the time, right? So time is a toy for him. So he can stretch the time. You know, he said he can grow up one instance and make it millions of years. And he grew up millions of years, he put them in one instance. In the Yuto's biography, uh, he finished writing this Tibetan medicine book, and then he had a very, very strong vision. Many, many Buddhas, and then all Buddhas, they are dissolving in each other, and then the one light dissolves in his head chakra, I think or heart chakra, and then he had that, uh, what do you say, power. Mm -hmm. He had that magic power. <laughs> and then he said, I, yeah, he can change the time, and also he can change the space. So recently I met one physics, you know, one very young uh, Asian physics in Europe. I was very curious about these things. He said the physics exactly they believe in the same way. So they, they, they believe that they can ban the time and ban the space. Mm -hmm. So something, something very interesting. I think that's the highest level of the spirituality. So the highest level of spirituality about time and space and about the rejuvenation and aging, these things, I think it's a very, very profound understanding, you know. It's not just, you know, we, when we do anti-aging, we try to fix our wrinkles, or to <laughs> fix our wrinkles, or to change our hair color and these things. But if we really go to, in a profound level, I think there are many, what do you say, very profound and important teachings. Okay? All right, that's about Nejang. That's about Nejang. Any questions about Nejang? No questions? Yeah, any um, questions about uh, prostration? Yeah? Well, I think we can play with time ourselves too. You know, if, if, if we, you know, if you step on a nail, it's like, the time is like so long if, because you're, you're in, in pain. But if you have to wait for a bus, time is like, like so long. So That's not just, your playing time. Time is playing you. <laughs> Sorry, it's different. <laughs> okay. okay, very different. I know some people, they take mushrooms, they think that way, but it's always, the time is playing you. Okay? okay. I like one word, you know, it's uh, one Italian uh, uh, artist. He said, when we are little babies, the world is our toy. Too. You know, we can play toys. Mm. We can play with the world. When we become adult, we are the toy of the world. Mm. <laughs> That's the difference with babies and adults. So I think now our condition is we are conditioned by time and space. This is our condition. So that's why, uh, how do you say, we cannot control. The time is controlling us. But of course, I think if we reach a very high level of the spirituality and realization, and then it's opposite. Okay, yes? Um, talking about time, if you took your time very long in doing the Nijang, breathing in the white, the white, and then you're doing the lock in here and in uh, down below here, and then it's it's the red light, just like the Oma home lock, correct? Mm -hmm. It's you're holding the red right in here. Yeah. And that what is the nature of that? It's ruby. It's is it it's burning away impurities. What are the what's the nature of that? Yeah, what's the function? Yes, yeah. When you hold the Pumbajan, the main function, we call it the transformation. The transforming. For example, if you do, um, it's like this, if you have a bad energy, your bad energy transformed into a good energy. Okay? The best example, the classical example is like this, how you can make butter. Do you know how to make butter? Sure. Exactly. Traditionally, to making butter is we have to churn the milk. Churning and this way and this way, you know, thousands of times and then you get butter. Right. So I used to do that in my childhood, you know. And um, 
So this is a similar thing. So you churn and churn and churning and churning. So the, what do you say, the ordinary energy, the prana, can <coughs> be formed into, like we call it, jana, jana, jana uh, prana, wisdom prana, okay? Ordinary uh, energy can transformed into extraordinary energy. All right? Or we can say also our negative energy transformed into positive energy. And so in the beginning it's an energy level, but uh, in the long term this will become also mental level. You can use this to, to regulate your mood. Okay? You can regulate to, to, you know, when you have a very bad mood, what you do, you do this yoga. Five minutes and ten minutes, and then after this, you feel different. So your mood is transformed. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah. Of course, there are many meditation techniques. Says, oh, you know, like thinking positively, don't focus only negative and this and that. But sometimes our mind is disturbed. You know, then you cannot do much meditation, right? But the physical things you can still do it. Okay, transforming. Uh, how do you say? Using the body, transforming our mood. Also like go for a walk in the nature. When you have a very bad mood, you go for a long walk in the nature. Do you understand? You distract, distract yourself a little bit. And this, you come back, you already feel better, right? Sure. You see the walking process, that's a, like a transforming right. your emotions. So this thing is something similar. Right. These things, you just do at home. You don't need to go to in the forest. <laughs> but I'm saying within the jam, with all of the, 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 the different, the 24, you're doing the, the breath lock, correct? Yeah, yeah. So you're breathing in the white for each one, and then, yeah, when you, and then it's red, when and it's expanding. Yes, for yes, each yes. One. The red energy is expanding, yes. All right. And so it's, 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 I'm, I'm just kind of, is it, is, is it like, I, I, it's a transformation. It could be a blue, I know there's the blue light that's coming up this channel. Um, I'm just kind of the transition from inhaling the white, and then I and have the red, red in yeah. here, and then I'm going like this. The red is expanding as I do these exercises throughout my body, and then <clears throat> I'm letting out the dirty blue light, or mm -hmm. is it is it the dirty red light? Pure blue. Pure blue. Yeah. It's pure blue. All of it. If you think you're already pure with a purification breath, then just pure blue. Okay, <coughs> that's up to you. Normally, why, before the Pumba Jana, why we do this uh, purification breathing, this, why we call it purification, there you are cleaning yourself. If you think you are cleaned enough, okay, if you think you are cleaned enough, then you don't need to clean this Pumba Jana, right? If you still feel like you need to clean yourself more, and then also Pumba, then you can clean yourself. That depends on your, uh, how do you say, your view. Okay, if you have pure view, only pure blue comes out. If you have impure view, then it should be the dark blue. <laughs> okay, is that you're asking? I guess, yeah, it's, it's, it's up to my own. Sensibility. Yeah, yeah, don't worry too much. What I, what I want from you, without imagining lights, just to do exercise, okay? okay? Otherwise, I know you want to mix with, uh, you know, mushroom and sport together. <laughs> <laughs> it's called the doping. <laughs> Not good idea. <laughs> Any other questions? No? So you are going to talk about the selflessness. Yes, yes, especially whenever you say.